All right, so after that uh, little break with the windshield wiper motion, let's go back into the sequences and summarize it. My waiting position with my one and a half grip, shoulder turn, foot move forward, bringing all our body facing the side fence, bringing the racket down. And now we're going to go into the swing forward. I'm going to show you two different positions. First, I'm going to show you from that position so you can see how my shoulders are going to stay turned throughout the swing forward and then I'll show you from the side so you can see more what the racket is doing and what's happening behind me so my racket is down a little lower my racket head is a little lower than my hand and now we're going to let go right away of the left hand so I don't want the left hand to travel forward and I'll show you that again on the, on the other position so let go of the left hand so my right arm now is starting to travel forward as we do that the racket head stays down as we get close to impact we're going to start bringing it up towards impact so really starting our windshield wiper motion from the very beginning and now we are on the way up on our windshield wiper motion as the right arm so the arm with the racket, in case we're talking with the lefty, so as the arm with the racket is going forward, our left arm is going to go in the opposite direction, so it's going to go back. Why, does he gonna go, why is he going to go back? Because we want to use it in order to keep the balance and in order to stay turned. So when I say stay turned, is that throughout the swing forward on the one hand back end, we want the shoulder to stay facing the side fence or perpendicular to the net whatever is talks the most to you so we're using our left hand and now you can see my left hand in order to stay turned all right now going back into the heating heating uh, the impact point impact point is going to be right in front of us and as you see that our impact point I'll show you that from the side and on the ne very next step I'll talk about the impact point but by the time we are impact our racket is straight and I'll show you that from the side to uh, see what I mean and now it keeps on going into his windshield wiper going up and that's our finish so now let me show you from the side I don't want to stay too long on the finish of the back end because I will talk about it on the follow through so from my waiting position bringing the racket up, bring the left foot forward drop the racket now going forward again so you see I let go of the left hand right away what I don't want is the left hand start going forward it stays back and it starts even going the other way as my right arm is going forward by the time I'm done with that swing my left arm we want we want to bring that left arm almost at shoulder level and we actually try to squeeze our back so I show you my back we're gonna to try to squeeze those two shoulder blades together this is what's gonna help us stay turned facing the side fence at the beginning squeezing the shoulder blades together as we're gonna do the swing slow is actually gonna feel kind of tiring because we are holding that position for almost a second maybe maybe even more as we're gonna do it real speed so later on when we will do it real speed here we're not gonna hold our follow through okay as we get good we don't stop we're gonna stop holding the follow through so it's gonna be uh, flexing those muscles in order to get the shoulder blades together for not even half a second less than half a second so it's not going to be a big deal after a while but I really want you to actually do it slow and really feel that squeeze in order to kind of have a, a, a landmark into what's the feeling you suppo you're supposed to have and how it helps you stay in turn so you see as I'm doesn't matter how fast I'm going to swing I'm able using my left hand to stay facing the camera right now thinking that the net is this way so uh, and uh, going back just to one little point which is which was our impact point this is what I meant when I said the racket is straight you see how straight it is so now it's gonna allow me to hit 
the ball straight. One thing that I'm always facing when I'm teaching the backhand is players starting. So if I, if, if they are, I want to say players that have been playing for a little bit, in, in general they're able to get into that position. But as soon as they swing forward, that shoulder is coming. Um, is coming facing the net. And here's what hap what's happening. Show you from the side so you can see exactly the angle of my racket. It's facing slightly up. So at best, with the racket facing slightly up, you're going to hit a ball that's going to go extremely close to the net. And, uh, and I say that's the best case, but in general, that's not going to be a consistent shot. So even though I have my one and a half grip, which you see now is facing down, as soon as I turn my shoulders, my racket is facing up. And that's going to get, uh, as a result, balls going a little all over the place, a lot of balls going up and never coming down in the court unless I'm swinging really slow and at the end it's going to look more like a slice back end. When look at how my racket uh, face is facing right now when I keep my shoulder turned, it's facing down. So now my racket coming from the bottom in order to apply that top spin and keeping the ball in play makes complete sense because now you see my racket is facing down and it's going to keep the ball in the court on the other side of the net. So extremely important on that sequence, couple of things and that, that I remind you before we move on, letting go of the left hand right away from the racket, starting the swing forward as the left hand starts going up in order to keep us turned. Impact point in front of us and we're going into our windshield wiper motion when we finish our left hand is going to be almost at shoulder level and so is the arm with the racket and we finish with the racket above the hand and almost passing the hand. I'll show you that more into detail. Right now the big point was staying turn and applying our windshield wiper motion as the left hand is going back. So I know a lot of uh, things to talk about but we'll talk about it again next step is going to be our impact point and then you'll see on our follow through we'll uh, talk again about the left hand going up and where the racket ends at the end of that swing.